Ooh, the final thing. Jehovah has the final say. Jehovah turns my life around. Jehovah turns my life around. He makes a way where there be. Way Jehovah has the final say. Who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. Who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. Jehovah turns my life around. Jehovah turns my life around, makes a way where there be no way. Jehovah has the final say. Jehovah turns my life around. Jehovah turns my life around. He makes a way where there be. We. Jehovah has the final say. Jehovah turns my life around. Jehovah. Welcome to my one number. If you are the host, you are now. Otherwise, please wait and you will be joined. Please enter your pen followed by the pound or hash. If you do not Jehovah turns my life around. Thank you. You are the only participant in the conference. He makes a way where there be no way. Jehovah has the final say. Jehovah turns my life around. Jehovah turns my life around. He makes a way where there be no way. Jehovah has the final say. Jehovah turns my life. Around the over turns my life around. He makes a way where there be no way. The over has the final say. Who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. Hallelujah, Jesus reign. Hallelujah, Jesus reign. He reigns in me and he reigns in you. Hallelujah, Jesus reign. No more sorrow, Jesus reign. No more hardship, Jesus reign. Jehovah turns my life around. Jehovah turns my life around. 
He makes a way where there be no way. Jehovah has the final say. Who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. Who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. Jehovah turns my life around. Jehovah turns my life around. He walks in way where there be no way. Jehovah has the final say. Who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. Who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. Jehovah turns my life around. Jehovah turns my life around. He walks in way where there be no way. Jehovah has the final say. Jehovah turns my life around. Jehovah turns my life around. He makes a way where there be no way. Jehovah, the final thing. Jehovah turns my life around. Jehovah turns my life around. He walks in way where there be no way. Jehovah has the final say. Who has the final say? Jehovah. As the final say, who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. Jehovah turns my life around. Jehovah turns my life around. He walks in way where there be. We Jehovah has the final say. Jehovah turns my life around. Jehovah turns my life around. <clears throat> he makes a way with. Jehovah the final say. 
God has the final say. Yes, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. He makes a way where there be no way. Jehovah has the final say. Jehovah turns my life around. Jehovah turns your life around. He makes a way where there be no way. Jehovah has the final say. <clears throat> Who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. Who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. Jehovah turns your life around. Jehovah turns your life around. He walks in way where there be no way. Jehovah has the final say. Jehovah turns our lives around. Jehovah turns our lives around. He walks away where there's be no way. Jehovah has the final. Oh, as the final say, Jehovah, as the final say. Oh, as the final say, Jehovah, as the final say. Jehovah turns our lives around. Jehovah turns your life around. He walks in way where there be no way. Jehovah has the final say. Jehovah turns our lives around. Jehovah turns our lives around. He makes a way where there be no way. Jehovah has the final say. Jehovah turns our lives around. Jehovah turns your life around. He makes a way where there be no way. Jehovah has the final say. Who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. Who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. Jehovah turns your life around. Jehovah turns, turns our lives around. He walks in way where there be no way. Jehovah has the final say. Jehovah turns our lives around. Jehovah turns our lives around. <clears throat> he walks in way where there be no way. Jehovah has the final say. 
Uaz de Paina Se Jeová de Paina Se Uaz de Paina Se Jeová de Paina Se Jeová Tan Salaim Saram Jeová Tan Salaim Saram he walks in way where there be no way. Jehovah has the final say. Jehovah turns your life around. Jehovah turns your life around. He walks in way where there be no way. Jehovah has the final say. Oh, as the final say, Jehovah, as the final say. Oh, as the final say, Jehovah, as the final say, Jehovah, turns the lights around. Jehovah, turns the lights around. He walks in way where there be no way. Jehovah, as the final say, Jehovah, turns our lives around. Jehovah, turns our lives around. He walks in way where there be no way. Jehovah, as the final say, Jehovah, toss your life around. Jehovah, toss your life around. He walks in way where there be no way. Jehovah, as the final say, Oh, as the final say, Jehovah, as the final say. Oh, as the final say, Jehovah, as the final. Jehovah turns our lives around. Jehovah turns our lives around. He walks in way where there be no way. Jehovah, as the final say. Oh, as the final say. Jehovah, as the final say. Oh, as the final say. Jehovah, as the final say. Jehovah turns our lives around. Jehovah turns your life around. He walks in way where there be no way. Jehovah has the final say. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. You all welcome to the Our Miracles Radio and TV Ministries of the Jesus Christ Global Mission reaching you all the way from Langham, Maryland, USA. This is Archbishop Stephen John Biokoro coming your way with the living word of God that saves Heals, delivers, and blesses. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I tell you, God is doing great things. The devil doesn't have the final say. <clears throat> Demons don't have the final say. Witches don't have the final say. Satan does not have the final say, but God, the Almighty God, who created heaven and earth, he has the final say. And that's our topic for today. God has the final say in your life. I remember the first time I preached this message where in Silver Spring, Maryland, having meetings and uh, God gave me this message. And uh, 
The message was great, and I know it's going to be great today again. And I know God's going to bless everyone today in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Our text is taken from John's Gospel, chapter 11, from verses 1 to the end. St. John's Gospel. Hallelujah. Yeah, so you can even participate in the singing if you want to, but uh, it's okay, so we can get it clear now. <clears throat> the final say belongs to him, and uh, our text is taken from John chapter 11, Verses 1 to the end is the story of Lazarus. Lazarus died and went to untimely grave. Holy Spirit, bless your people today through your word. Yes, Lord, God, visit your people mightily today. Do something new in the life of everyone participating in this program. Let there be an open heaven over every one of us. God, pour down your spirit and your power, your anointing to save, to heal, to deliver, and to bless everyone today in the name of Jesus Christ. God, come down and manifest your power because you have the final say in the life of everyone today in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. God has the final say. John chapter 11 from verses 1 to the end. Lazarus died and went to an untimely grave. And uh, if you read through the Bible, there are so many people that died and they were resurrected back to life. Starting from the days of Prophet Elijah and then Prophet Elisha. And then Jesus Christ came on earth. He raised so many dead people. And then the Apostle Paul also raised dead people. So I asked the question. I said, why is it that uh, why is it that people have to come back to life after they died? Then God gave me the answer. He said, maybe that's not when they are supposed to die yet. <laughs> because you couldn't have come back to life if God didn't want you back to life. Then you couldn't have come back. But there were so many resurrections. And then the scripture says, Jesus is the resurrection and the life. Jesus is the resurrection and the life. Jesus is the resurrection and the life. He giveth life to everyone. No Jesus, no life. No Jesus, no life. No Jesus, no life. Hallelujah. And as I read through that scripture, I found out that something was very clear. Jesus came to give life to Lazarus. And of course, Jesus came to give life, and life more abundantly, John 10.10. 10. But the devil then came to steal, to kill, and to destroy, John 10.10. 10. He said then, Jesus came to give life, and life more abundantly. So, why was Jesus not happy with the death of John, of, 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 John of, of Lazarus. Lazarus had died and uh, they, were, they were mourning. Then Jesus got there and said, No, Lazarus, come forth and begin to live again. <clears throat> Excuse me. And he said, Lose him and let him go. And Lazarus was loosed, and he had to live again. Then in Isaiah 38, somebody else also died, also was supposed to die, and got on timely grief, but was saved by the prophet 
Isaiah. The prophet Isaiah rescued that situation. And so King Hezekiah didn't have to go to an untimely grave. Today I prophesy to you, every one of you hearing the sound of my voice, you will not go to untimely grave. In the name of Jesus, you will not die by coronavirus. You will not die by Delta variants. You will not die by sickness and disease. You will not die by arm robbers and rogues and hired killers and kidnappers and highway robbers. You shall live to declare the works of God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God didn't plan untimely grave for any of us at all, never. But John 10.10 10 says, the devil came to steal, to kill, and to destroy, but Jesus came to give us life, and life more abundantly. Whose report are we going to believe? We shall believe the report of the Lord. Whose report shall we believe? Isaiah 53 verses 1 and 2. Whose report shall we believe? We shall believe the report of the Lord. His report says I am he. His report says I am blessed. His report says, I am healed. His report says, victory. Eh? Isaiah 53, verses 1 and 2. He said, whose report shall we believe? Are we going to believe the report of Satan? The report of Satan says, there is no hope for you. The report of the devil, the report of the witches, the report of your enemy, they say you will not live. They say you should die. Okay, the people who made the coronavirus, they said that uh, the world population is 9 billion people and they don't want it like that. They don't want the world population to be 9 billion people. They want the world population to be 6 billion. And so they went and paid scientists and they went to Wuhan in China and produce the coronavirus and then put it in the air to kill people. And it's killing millions of people already around the world. <laughs> but that's not God's plan for us. That God didn't say we should reduce the world population. God didn't say go and put coronavirus in the air. God didn't say that. You know, so God has the final say. You may be killing people and you think you are doing the right thing. That's not God's plan. And uh, though they are dying, those who are in Christ, they are going to heaven. It's only those who are not in Christ. We don't know where they are going. But I thank God that as many that are alive in Christ today, God is your protection. The blood of Jesus shall cover you. The blood of Jesus is your vaccine. The blood of Jesus is your healing. The blood of Jesus is your protection. The blood of Jesus covers you night and day. The blood of Jesus is on your doorposts and on your lintels. The blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus are best for you. The blood of Jesus speaketh better things than the blood of Abel. The blood is been shed for the remission of your sins. And by his tribes, you were healed. Oh, yes, that's the word of God. So that blood is covering you today. It's covering you from every attack that the enemies are bringing your way. Attack of sickness and disease, attacks. You know, people going to hospital and uh, being hospitalized, that is not God's plan for you. God did not plan that you must be hospitalized. 
God did not plan that you must be sick and poor and wretched. That's not God's plan for you. God's will must be done in your life. God's voice is final. God's say is what it is. The devil does not have the final say. Oh, Rabba, Sandoria, Imblende, Kendere, Yaba, Andoriba. Somebody is watching this program and uh, your enemies say that there is no hope for you. <laughs> I laugh. Your enemies say that there is no hope for you. They say you should die and go to untimely grave. But I got to tell you that Jesus has come to give you life and life more abundantly. You shall live to declare the works of God. No weapon form against you shall prosper. Every tongue that arises against you, judgment is already condemned because you are the apple of God's eyes. In the name of Jesus, greater is he that is in us than the devil that is in the world. Hey, Riki Busaya Blagada Bagazandaya. Mm. I was told I wouldn't make it in 1977. I should die and go to hellfire because I didn't know Jesus Christ. But when I discovered Jesus, I was healed by the power of God. And I'm alive today to declare that Jesus Christ is Lord over the whole world. Jesus Christ is Lord over everybody. Jesus Christ is Lord over every situation. And his words are final. He has the final say. In your family, in your marriage, in your home, in your business, in everything you do, he has the final say. What he said it should be, that is what it must be. So Jesus said, Lazarus, come back to life. You are not supposed to have died yet. Come back to life. And that same Jesus is speaking to you today. Come alive. Come alive. Come alive, come alive, come alive. Yes, come alive. In the name of Jesus, come alive. Come from the grave, come from the dead, come from the burial, come from the tombs. Come alive. The devil has put you in an ugly situation. you hopeless, there's no hope. And... Uh, you have been told that nothing good is going to come out of this. But Jesus came into the scene. And Jesus said, this is for the glory of God. We don't need to cry again. The owner of life has come. The one that giveth life and gives it more abundantly has come. You don't give what you don't have. It's what you have that you give. Jesus is the giver of life, the author of life. By him was everything created. Through him, everything was created. And uh, Jesus has appeared on the scene. Jesus has come by that hospital bed. Jesus has come. In that prison yard, Jesus has come to that ugly situation. Jesus has come. And Jesus said, this death is not for evil. It is for the Son of God to be glorified. And uh, uh, Jesus came into the situation. Ha. No Jesus, no life. No, Jesus, no life. No, Jesus, no life. No, Jesus, no life. Jesus came into the situation. And he said, where is the grave? Where you buried Lazarus? They showed him the grave. They put a stone. No, they put a stone to wage the grave. Jesus said, roll away that stone. And so they rolled away the stone. After they rolled away the stone, Jesus cried out, Lazarus, come forth and begin to live. And Lazarus came out of the tombs. 
Then the scripture said he was bound hands and legs. And uh, there was something about that passage. He said, Jesus delayed four days. It was after four days Jesus came on the scene. Maybe you should have been thinking. No. Whether he's thinking or not, come back to life is, 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 is that's it. Come back to life is come back to life. Whether he died four year, you know, one year ago, we don't matter. Jesus, the owner of life, has said, "Take life, Lazarus, take life, and begin to live." Harakabasaya. Hey, God is speaking to somebody right now. Hmm. Many of you, your businesses have died. Many of you, your marriage have died. Many of you have died financially. Many of you have died in one way or the other. Death is in various forms. Oh, yes. Yeah. Some people have died already. Though they are walking around. Hmm. Some people are just walking around. <laughs> but they have died. <laughs> they, they, they are not participating in life. <laughs> it's like there's no hope. Hopeless. You know, nothing is going on. Nothing is happening. Everything is just dry. You know? So, death is in various forms. Some people have died academically. They can't pass examinations. Some people have died spiritually. They can't pray. They can't read the Bible. They can't, uh, you know, worship God and praise God. Some people have died in various forms. Some people, their, their, their marriages have died. Some people... Their finances, they have died financially. There is no finance. There is no money. There is no hope. But Jesus has come to that scene right now. Jesus has come into your family right now. Jesus has come into that situation right now. He's alive today and forevermore. He's the only one who died and resurrected from the grave. The owner of life has come. And when Jesus goes, life began. Where there is life, there is hope. Where there is life, there is hope. The owner of life has come to declare life and life more abundantly. Lazarus, come forth. And Lazarus had no choice. <clears throat> he had to come forth. He had to come back to life. And the Bible says that he was bound hands and legs. <laughs> John chapter 11. How can you live in this life and be bound hands and legs? No. No. You can't live in this life and be bound hands and legs. That's limitation. That's frustration. Bound hands and legs. Yeah, John chapter 11. Lazarus came out of the grave bound hands and legs. And uh, as he was bound hands and legs, Jesus said, no, this is not for you. God does not bound people. <laughs> the only part of the Bible where people were bound, the woman with the issue of blood, with the, the woman in the temple where Jesus was ministering. Jesus was ministering, the temple was preaching and praying, and there was a woman in Luke chapter 13, the Bible says she was bound, and Jesus screamed, Woman, thou art loose from your infirmity. And she was freed, you know, uh, she was bound in the spirit. You couldn't see those ropes, uh, but she was beautifully dressed inside the church, sitting down, listening to Jesus, but she was bound. And Jesus said, woman, thou art loose from your infirmity. Thou art loose from your infirmity. Somebody must have said, Jesus, are you all right? You see this woman dancing and jumping around. You say, that loose. You say, that, this woman with my spiritual eyes, 
she's bound. She's bound and oppressed by Satan. And Jesus said, Woman, thou art loose from your infirmity. Today, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and forevermore. Jesus is saying to you, Woman, thou art loose from your limitations. You are loose from your frustrations. You are loose from your failures. You are loose from sickness and disease. You are loose from backwardness. You are loose from poverty. Woman, thou art loosed. And she was loosed indeed. Hallelujah. That same Jesus is still saying to you today, thou art loosed from your infirmity. Thou art loose from your frustration and failure. Thou art loose from your limitations. Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Ha! I can feel people lose by the power of the Holy Ghost. God is losing people from the powers of darkness. Hey, Wherever you are in any part of the world, Watching this program right now, begin to receive your deliverance. The power of the Holy Ghost has been released. The bound and the oppressed have been set loose by the power of God, who the Son of God set free. is free indeed. Yes, come on, go ahead. Harakabasayabaya. Ebregedeyabaya. Ha! Shake it, terrible. Yes, it's happening already. It's happening already. Woman, thou are loose by the power of the Holy Ghost. That boy, that girl, that man, that woman, thou art loose from your infirmity. You are loose from every power that holds you. You are loose in the name of Jesus Christ. You can't go through life bound and oppressed with death and sickness and and coronavirus, you can't be bound. Ha! Jesus said, me pray. I can never be bound. Jesus said, me free. I will never be bound. Jesus said, me free. I cannot be bound. I cannot be bound. Jesus said, you free. You can never be bound. You will never be bound. In the name of Jesus, God did not plan you okay. to be bound. So Lazarus came from the grave, John chapter 11, as our test. Lazarus came from the grave, bound hands and legs. And uh, Jesus said, no. You can't be bound hands and legs. Come on. How can you face life bound hands and legs? No. This is not good. And so Jesus had to speak the word. Jesus had to release the word. Lazarus, thou art loose. Thou art loose from your infirmity. Thou art loose. Lazarus, you are loosed. Lose him 